Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Leo for the first half of January 2019, um, or from the time that you view this video, these uh, events could be in play. So um, please keep in mind that it is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every one of you. Let's begin. Oh, and I would like to, <laughs> I would like to wish everyone a very happy new year. All right. <clears throat> so what we have here is, uh, a, it's a relationship that had broken up in the past because it sits here with a meeting. So I feel that, um, there's going to be a meeting between you and whomever you broke up with in the past. Now, of course, you want this meeting. <laughs> if you don't, you shouldn't be watching this. But um, so we have this meeting and we have this um, three of wands here. Okay. So this is a card that would speak to the opportunity for a partnership. Okay. Um, this card is saying that you're about to receive um, a message or a reply to a question that you might have asked. Or this can simply be a message. This could be um, you receiving some sort of message. And you know what? You could even be the sender because these messages could go both ways. Because this is the bird trainer and he has the, um, the falcon here and he has the message in his hand and he's about to send it off. So, you know, this could be you sending off a message, but it has to do with a meeting because the seven of shields is just that. So let's go here. I feel that um, there's, there was, um, in the past, there was a lot of discord, um, a lot of arguments, a lot of underlying tension in that relationship. There was a lot of fears that surrounded it. Um, because of what was going on in the home, because there was disharmony here with this card in reverse, um, you could have been, because this is the card of Leo, you could have been very fearful of the truth. Now, What could have been causing this? Let's have a look over here. The five of shields. So third party energy, conflict, argument. So most likely that's what it was. You may have felt almost um, like blind to it because the grail knight is in the reverse. You may have been spying Um, I feel like, um, I feel like maybe there was no effort being put into the relationship. 
because the relationship this is a card of moving a relationship forward it's a, a card of romance when it's reversed but this is a card of no effort being put into it the three of love being stuck in um, a heartbreaking situation yet um, here we have the card of disaster this is a card of feeling chained to someone um, or something um, and feeling powerless you may have felt powerless uh, with regards to what was going on and we see the devil lurking in the back in the background here ready to grab these people and it's like they're unsuspecting because the, sh the sword is sheathed and they're kind of looking at each other out of the the side of their eyes and the devil's creeping up on them so something something took you by surprise um, card of uh, castigation here um, this is somebody who might carry guilt and punish themselves so maybe you know I mean there's two sides to every story and and this could go both ways I don't know who is who um, somebody here carries guilt for something they did and here we have the card of responsibility for creation this is ruled by Saturn so there was some sort of lesson that was learned here um, yeah not giving attention where attention was needed and we have the card of somebody not putting effort so <clears throat> one of you may feel that it was like their fault because they didn't give the attention to the relationship that it needed that they didn't put that effort you see And so now it's like another chance comes around. Here we see the Ace of Wisdom, one of the best cards in this deck, um, brings luck. Um, it is about a new opportunity. With that, we have the Four of Love in reverse, so an opportunity that previously either, either you were rejected or that you turned down you want it back and so now the chance appears to be coming in and you don't trust it <laughs> you see the snake coming down uh, with that coin bringing it to her and she's like whoa <laughs> what's this she does not trust the offer or the apology whatever this coin represents to you she's got a lot of fears she or he uh, about whatever this is okay doesn't trust it so now above we have the Ten of Swords, which is resisting an ending or not wanting something to end. The Melodamantum in the reverse um, 
is the card of justice. And um, so you don't want something to end. You don't think it's uh, fair. And yet this card would be telling you that you're in the position that you're in because of something you did in the past or took a decision to do in the past. Now, with that comes this page of wands in reverse. In this deck, this page is um, can be somebody, when he's reversed, he's somebody who could be very temperamental, uh, flies off the handle very easily. Um, he can be very rash, take jump into something without even thinking about it. So maybe there was something, because it has to do with a decision you, you made in the past. Um, you know, I'm going to speak as if it's you, okay? Because it's too get difficult to going back and forth. But something you did in the past um, that perhaps you're feeling guilty for. But now you have all of these fears. You're not sure with this card of deliverance here if you can go back into this egg that has been cracked, that once offered love and security. And all of these fears, it's almost like you're punishing yourself. feeling guilty. You are obsessing over this person. It's possible um, for some there could be uh, a third party or that person could be with someone with Esclamon de Foi in the reverse and with this card being here. So you're obsessing over somebody, you don't feel balanced. Um, and you're trying to, yeah, you've got two cards here that speak to your emotions being out of balance. Um, and, you know, this could also be fear um, because of this meeting or message. Um, so you're trying with the hangman to figure out what you would need to sacrifice to uh, obtain your desired result. Now, this hangman, he's willing to do anything. The angels are trying to speak to him. There's a devil in between um, trying to fight off the angel. And uh, so, yeah, so that's what it is. Emotions out of balance. What can I do to fix things or to get the uh, desired result? Um, here, he is filling these cups with his wishes, but he's consumed by fear. So the Page of Cups, um, this is an offer, okay, of love. And here we have the possibility here of a romance with this Two of Cups, possibly a soulmate. What do I have to do to sacrifice to get this again and to rebuild with this person? So that is where you stand in January, Leo. Um, so you've got a lot of fears. Um, there's either either you are, are approaching somebody or you receive a message. In either case, you're going to get the answer that you are asking, okay? And uh, there will be a meeting. And maybe this message is about a meeting. So this is with someone from your past. Um, possibly someone you had a long-term commitment with. So um, that's about it, and um, I thank you for watching, and um, many blessings.
Bye for now.